Well, we continue our walk through Brentwood, and we're here in the grounds of the cathedral. And behind me, you can see what used to be the convent in the town, uh, long before they built the new Urshaline convent further down the road. Not far from here is Highwood Hospital, one of the hospitals Eastwood TV serves. And we were very excited recently when we heard that a, a lovely old lady by the name of Louisa was celebrating her 100th birthday. Imagine it, 100 years. Not only that, she had a major surprise, a visit from the Queen's Regiment. <laughs> well, we sent along our veteran presenter, Dennis Rookard, who fancied a bit of birthday cake, uh, to join in the fun. Tell you a story. About the beginning of the First World War, there was a lady. She was married to a man called Herbert, and he was a member of the Middlesex Regiment. And there was a ball, yes, a regimental ball, and Herbert and the lady went along to it. Well, as often happens at places like army balls, the colonel of the regiment asked to dance with Herbert's wife. It's a moment she never forgot. Herbert, unfortunately, was killed in the first months of the First World War, and the lady in question was left to bring up a family of a daughter and a son alone. But that dance with the Colonel, she never forgot. Why am I telling you this? Well, I'm outside Cherry Ward here at uh, Highwood Hospital. The lady in question is a hundred years old. It's her birthday today, and we're planning something rather special. You see, the regiment Herbert was a member of was the Middlesex Regiment, and back in 1966 that was merged into the Queen's Regiment. Well, to celebrate the fact that uh, she danced with the Colonel, in a few minutes' time, a team of eight musicians from the present Queen's Regiment, accompanied by an officer, will arrive here at the hospital. Ostensibly, they're here to play music for the patients this afternoon. But what uh, the lady doesn't know, and we do, is that the officer, sometime in the afternoon, is going to ask for her hand for the next dance. <sighs> I'm speaking with Captain Barry Moss of uh, First Greens, which uh, the, the, I should say the band is First Greens. You're in fact a based in Maidstone. That is correct. I command the Queen's Regimental Information Team, which is based in Maidstone, and we cover the home counties. Uh, the connection with the 1st Battalion is that uh, they were attached to the 3rd Battalion when I was a Regimental Sergeant Major, mm. uh, and hence I was in a position uh, with the kind permission of the Command Officer of the 1st Battalion to get their uh, use today for this surprise for Louisa. Now, Louisa Louisa doesn't know about it, so uh, what's going to happen? She thinks, of course, you're just coming here to play music for, for the patients. Well, in fact, it's, uh, it was... Um she mentioned to someone from the British Legion that uh, she danced with the Colonel when her husband, who was a regimental sergeant major, um, they used to host the Colonel and their wives at the, re uh, the science messes for functions. And then someone from the British Legion got on to the regimental headquarters of the Royal Anglian Regiment, who passed this request on to the Queen's regimental headquarters at Canterbury, who then looked down at me in Maidstone and said, fix. So uh, um, it's a Middlesex connection that's led to us doing it, as opposed to the Royal Anglian Regiment whose territory this is, you know. Of course, the Middlesex Regiment was merged into the Queen's in, what, 66? Well, in 1966, we became the Queen's, the 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 4th Battalion, and the Middlesex was the 4th Battalion. Now, I'm told that your duties down in Maidstone include uh, recruiting and liaison. You're not really trying to get uh, Louisa to join up, are you? No, but um, I, I visited the Highwood last week, and there are one or two potential recruits, definitely. Right, we'll let you go and surprise her. Right, thank you very much. Where's that young lady, Louisa? Yes, she's over right. in the green. In the green. There she is, looking oh, ever so beautiful. Oh, oh Marie. Hi, oh, my darling. Hey, you are. Oh, Any hopes of return for tomorrow? Oh, What's coming to you? Oh. And there's a card from us all wishing you a happy birthday. Oh. Now, I've taken the liberty of um, bringing some music with me, Louisa, and I'm hoping that you'll give me the honour of a dance. Are you feeling up to a dance? Right, well, if we can uh, set up the music. Right. Louisa, my darling, would you give me the pleasure of having a dance, please? Yes, I thank you. Right, now, take care now. And then, mind we don't trip here. No, I Now, I don't want you to wheel me around too fast, OK? So nice and gently. Right, if we make our way round, now mind the chair there, be very, very careful. Now I've been practising for weeks for this, Louisa. I've been practising for weeks. What about just here, eh? Right, OK, you hold me then, Sarah Carlson, can we have some music? Right, now, I hope you know this one. It's the blues. There you go. What's that like? Showing me up.
There we go. And then you're going to sit down and listen to the rest of the music, okay? Are you, you don't care. <laughs> we'll see. Now, do you want to sit down there and listen to the rest of the music? Come on then, my darling. Come on then. You go on through then. then. You don't want you get too tired. Louisa, just a question for you. Can you take me back to that day of the, the ball when your husband was the RSM? Um, yeah. where, where, where was the ball held? Uh, um, our regiment was at Mill Hill. Uh, we went to France, Belgium. And my husband, of course, I was in the army. You were in the army, were you? Yes, with him. What were you, do what were you doing in the army? Well, I was a woman follower. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like the tiger, but I accepted him for his... <laughs> and you, you when we got to Irish, you know, the Belgium frontier, he reached somewhere, I said, you're not to go. He, he said, I'm going. He went, he came back, and he was killed. I said, why are you cheering? He said, I should have taken your advice and not gone. But he's made a captain before Terry so was taken off and returned to private. Oh, he did not. That hurt him more than his wife, Frank. He was a naughty boy, wasn't he? He was indeed. He was a... <laughs> but you still remember him? Oh, yeah. As I, I, I remember him then. Yeah. But that was 1914, and I've been a widow ever since. I've never thought another man except my son. And he's here somewhere. I don't know whether he's here now. Louisa, congratulations on your 100th birthday, and may you have Thank many you. more. Thank you very much. I wish my daughter...